How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be opening this triple beat booster box. It's finally here, really really early. This was sent basically on release day, on like on Friday, and I'm unboxing this on Monday and the video is going up on, on Tuesday. So really really happy with the, with the like quick shipping and everything. I've bought this from the same shop. I did my, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, Paratage and Trigger. And the, like, the, the, um, Jumbo collections from, from, like, V-Star Universe, you know, the new one and the Latias one. And I've had pretty good luck with them. Like, I've, I've had pretty good luck with, with, with the, um, company I've bought this from. So anyways, let's jump straight into the first pack. Let's just look at this pack for now. Really cool. I might get some of the names wrong, so bear with me. I have the card list running here. On, like, my, my computer screen. But yeah, we have the Quaquavel, we have the Meow Scarada, and the Skeledurch. Very nice. Anyways, let's let's rip into this this first pack. From what I have seen, apparently the SAR pull rates are much higher than they were in in Violet EX and Scarlet EX. So I'm excited to see if that actually has any meaningful change. Atropius was really nice. Great ball and a Amogus. Actually, let me go back to this Tropius. This looks really nice. There we go, now it's focusing. Look at that Tropius illustration. That looks really, really nice. Dang, dude, the artwork in, in this set is like top notch, I'm telling you. So, Triple Beat, the second, well, third, if you count Scarlet and Violet as like separate expansions, which I don't think you should. But the next expansion, really, really nice. Finally get these three starters. Fue Coco, we have... A, oh, it's Jet Energy, okay. And we have a, um, whatchamacallit, we have a Kilowattrel. There you go. A Kilowattrel. Only a few new Pokémon from what I've, I've realized, like looking at the card list right here. Of course, we just had the Spoink there. And like some of these Pokémon have been around for a really long time, so not many, not many new ones. Of course, these starters are like the star. Of, of this set. Here we go, we have the Floragato, which is actually a really nice, like, Quaxley, which is really, really nice. And there's our first Hollow, check this out, the Gyarados. And we have the Clavel. The Floragato is actually pretty cool because, you know, Paldea is inspired by Spain, so of course so are the names for some of these Pokémon. And Floragato, like, you can immediately tell that it's inspired by, like, Spanish. Because Flora, I'm pretty sure, is like flower in Spanish. I know Gato. Gato is the 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 Spanish um, word for cat. We got Sprigatito. We have the evolution, a Tinkatink. We have another Hollow, a Hydreigon. And an Oranguru. We're getting all the Hollows, at least, out of the way. We'll see. I have seen some boxes of this. Um, similar to what happened in, in VMAX, or V-Star Universe, not VMAX Climax, V-Star Universe, where you can actually get a Secret Rare and an SAR on top. So there are some boxes, apparently, where you can get both, like a Secret Rare and an SAR, which would obviously be very, very cool. A Buizel and a Miss Magius. Miss, Miss, Miss Magius actually has a really, really sick looking art rare. In, in this expansion. There's a few art rares that I really hope I get. The Magikarp for one, because that one is super, super beautiful. Then the Miss Magius, as I just said, that is a really cool one. And just maybe just any of the starter. Maybe Fue Coco, that one looks, looks really, really nice, that art rare. And here is our secret rare, a Lycanroc EX. Okay, so here's our secret rare. That doesn't mean that we, like, there is still a chance that we might get a an SAR from this box. Here's the Lycanroc EX. Probably not what you're hoping for, but hey, you can't always have a win. And there is still the chance that we do get an SAR. A very slim chance, but you know, it is what it is. Magikarp. We have a Tropius again, very nice. We have a Salazzle. Artazon. Artazon. Okay. Well, we have our secret rare. We can still get it, like we are promised, three art rares. So there's that. And we still have the chance for a 
for an SAR, for a secret art rare. And here is an, an EX, a double rare. We have the Dedene EX. Okay. The Dene EX. Nice. Let me sleeve this one up. This looks pretty cool. I like these these EX cards. I'm really curious to see how they how they look in English once they finally make it over, like end of March. I really wonder how they would look like. Because you know the texture is always different for, for English cards as compared to Japanese. The Japanese cards always have much finer texture. And typically look way, way better than the than the English counterpart. No go nose goes for that one. That one was kind of a dud. Still got a cute rock rough at least. Still got a cute rock rough. Let's see, opening this pack up right here. And let's see what we can get. We got a day. No, this is a Swaylus, I wanna say. We have the evolution of Quaxley, which I've forgotten the name of. We have like a crazy looking energy, luminous energy. And we have another what Wattrel. No, ki Kilo Wattrel, Kilo Wattrel. Like, there's actually a few art rares in here that I would love to show off. Like the Miss Magius. Miss Magius. For sure, that one looks beautiful. And like the Pyroar, because the Pyroar is from a new artist. The Pyro is drawn by an artist that has never drawn a Pokemon card before, so I'm kind of... I would be likely to show this off. I would like to show this, but there we go. We have the Quaxley art rare. I like how these, like, tell a story. We have the Quaxley in the mirror together with the with the evolution line itself. To be fair, out of the starter... Out of the, um, the starter art rares, I do have to say the Fue Coco is by far my favorite. It's just him sitting in a shopping trolley. It's just super, super cute. Super, super cute. Let's see what else we can get here. Focus, please. Thank you. We're gonna nimble. We've got another rock rough, very cute. Here we have the Quaquavel EX. At least we got one of these starters EX. Was hoping for the for the Meow Scarada. But hey, at least one starter as the EX. We may still get two more EXs though. So maybe there are still some chances for us to to grab some some more cards. Still hoping, of course, for the SAR, the rare box that actually features an SR and an SAR. I was kind of hoping for like any SAR really, because I really want to see them in in Japanese. Here we got a Scary Mama and a Duck Trio, because I really want to see them in Japanese. I do have trainers, like full art SAR trainers, just the the Juck and the Arwen, basically the. The cheaper ones. But I would love to see a Pokemon because I want I want to see the texture and I actually want to compare it to like other other cards that I have. From what I've heard, they look absolutely stunning, like in person. Let's see. Here is the Floragato art rail. Okay. Nice. We're getting the starter art rares. Got the Quaxley. Wrong evolution line. Wrong evolution line, but hey, we've got the got the floor. I got it. Actually, let me show this off if I can get it in focus. Yo, this looks so colorful. I like this. Who drew this, by the way? Oh, Koki Saito, of course. That's probably why this looks so great. That's probably why why this this card looks so great. Koki Saito, very talented artist. Probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Let's see, Larvista. We've got a Spoink. We've got a Sprigatito. We've got a Padelian Tauros, I want to say. Yeah, Paldean Tauros. And a Miss Magis. Okay, we have the first side done of the booster, so let me take the booster box away and move it on from here. One thing I've noticed uh, immediately upon opening it. They removed the pull tab from, from the booster boxes. You know, the ones they added in in Scarlet and Violet? And now they removed them, which I don't like. I really like the, the pull tab because that basically made it almost impossible to, like, reseal the boxes. I don't know why they removed them. Maybe because of, of like, cost or something. No one will ever know. Hopefully they will come. they will come back for the next expansion. Come to think of it, when will the next expansion release? Like, May? Maybe April? Maybe May? 
But anywho's, I I just wish these box. Oh, here we go. Nice. We've got the Meow Scarter EX. This is nice. The Dendra. The Dendra, of course, SR and SAR version of these cards in this set, which are crazy expensive. Who would have thought? Same with the Miriam. The Miriam was also super expensive. To be fair, though, I've seen recently a tweet that the pull rates of the SARs are like double from what they were in Scarlet and EX. So that's why I'm kind of still hoping for the SAR, but probably not. We've got Falkner here. Like, why would he be featured in this? But I guess it works. I mean, I, I welcome it. Which mean there it means there's still the chance that we get older characters featured on on like arts. We've got a sable eye. Still hoping to get like a, a May full art. Or like any Gen 3 characters, basically. Any Gen 3. Maybe even perhaps even like some new some new Archie and Maxi cards. There's only only two of them. There's like what is it called? Maxi's hidden trick or something, and then Archie's ace in the hole. Both from, I want to say, Ancient Origins, although I might be mistaken. No, from um, Primal Clash. Here we go, Lycanroc EX. Goes together well with our other Lycanroc EX with the full art. Hey, at, at least we've gotten we've gotten both of the Lycanrocs. At least we've gotten both of the Lycanrocs. Let's see. Handful of, of packs left. Furagato. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here we got the Pyro. Man, really still hoping for that Pyro art rare. The Pyro, the Miss Magis, the Magikarp. All three of them I would be very happy with. The... God, this pack doesn't want to open. There you go. That means there must be something great inside, right? That's what it means. If the pack is hard to open, it means there's an SAR here. Like, right here. No, it is the Magic Carp though. Yo, this is really, really nice. Let me just check what's behind here. The Paldarian Tauros. Dude, an absolute beautiful illustration by Mitsuhiro Arita, I'm pretty sure. No, by Akira Igawa, I was wrong. But this is still a really amazing illustration. This was like one of the cards that was revealed first. And the illustration, like people basically lost it over that illustration. It was, it is such a great illustration, but check this out. The Magikarp. This kind of reminds me of the Giratina from um, from Lost Origin. I wonder if it's by the same artist. It must be. Because the art style is like so recognizable. For some reason I like this more than the Giratina. I like this way more than the Giratina. Nice. At least we've got one of the art rares that I really wanted. That is glaring. So let's put him like right here. Very, very nice. Really happy about that Magikarp. Still got a bunch of packs left. Let's see what else can we get here. I think we're... Hmm. I don't think we're gonna get another EX card. Maybe another double rail? Although... No, these are also double rails. I don't think we're gonna get another, like, full art or something. Like an EX. We're, we're gonna get the, the, um... What is it called? Low Kicks. That's the name. We're basically just gonna get some, some holographics here. I'm pretty sure. Because we've gotten four EX cards, we've gotten our secret rare, we've gotten our three... three art rares. Maybe we get another one of these Detenes, like these these highly textured EX cards. But we we shall see. Also, there's still the chance for, for an SAR, which I would actually welcome. Let's see, here's the Tinkaton. Very popular Pokemon, very, very nice as well. As the hollows bunched up there. Let's see how many packs do we have left? Like five. Let's see what's in this one. Larvista. Dilly Bird. We've got the Clavel. And a Survivor. So I have a few other videos planned, of course. Since we have a bunch of time or a bit of time left. I have a bunch of videos planned, mostly for my for my birthday, which is the 23rd of April. I plan to opening a a, a whatchamacallit, an Evolving Skies booster box, but like an 18-pack 18, 18 booster box, because the big one, the 36 one, is just 
super expensive. Yeah, so the big one is just super expensive. Which is why I'm kind of maybe just opening like an 18-pack booster box. I, w I really want to open that because that was the set that first got me back into, into Pokemon. Oh, here we go. We've got the boss's orders featuring Getsies. I really wanted to pull this as a full art too. Like both of these, the SR and the SAR version of that card are so, so beautiful. Luckily though, these shouldn't be that that expensive to get, so I might be able to get this for for a really good price. Because, well, Boss's Orders has been printed... F I would No, actually, Boss's Orders hasn't been printed to death, eh? I was switching it up with, with Professor's Research. Hmm, we'll see how expensive that car ends up being. It won't be nearly as expensive as, like, the Dendra SAR. Like, for sure. For sure. Let's see. Few other cards, or uh, few other videos that I have planned. It's like a V-Star Universe versus Crown Zenith. Kind of like comparing the, the two sets. And V-Star Universe should get a bit cheaper, like, in the next few months here. Because there was a sale on the on the Pokemon Center online and last pack and the stock lasted for five minutes which doesn't seem like that long but if you think about it that is a set that's been thought after and the stock lasted for five minutes so that's actually a good sign usually they'd be gone in seconds so the reprint is coming and they will continue to print let's see let's actually let's do it like this maybe there is one more pull here so here we go I've lost focus. Let's see, failings. Let's see if there's another pull here. Nope, it's just an Amogus. That's kind of sus. That's kind of sus that this is our last pull. So here we have my pulls, my three artwares. We have the Floragato, we have the Quaxley, and we have the Magic Carp. Really happy about the Magic Carp. We have for our EX cards, we have the the Mouskerada EX, which I'm also very happy about. We have the Quaquavel. We have the Dedene EX. And of course, the Lycan Rock. This is actually a pretty cool illustration. And as our secret rare, we do have Lycan Rock again. So there you go, and then a bunch of rares. But anyways, that does it for this opening. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments what you disliked, so I can try to change that maybe for future videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.